let's build the best power solution for your mirrorless camera rig. I want something affordable, small, that will last an entire day of shooting. I don't want a V-mount battery or a mini V-mount battery. Don't understand me wrong, V-mount batteries are amazing, but just for a mirrorless setup, those can be so big, so heavy, so expensive. Come on, let's do it. On a rig like this, you need to power your external monitor, you will maybe charge your camera in the USB-C port, you will maybe power your external audio recorder, or maybe you will power something like a follow focus. I bought this amazing piece of gear from Smallrig. This is an adapter plate for NPF batteries. I will show you in a few seconds how to build a mounting system for this one, but first let me explain how this thing works. Of course you will attach an NPF battery and right now you have multiple output ports and inputs because you can charge the battery with this one. We have an USB type C port power delivery 18 watts input and output. In the same time we have another port 7.4 volts it's a DC 5521 5.5 2.1 millimeters and another one of 12 volts DC 5525 5.5 2.5 millimeters and yes you can use the both of them in the same time super simple if you want to charge your camera in the same time you are filming you can use a simple USB-C to USB-C cable from this USB-C port now if you want to power your monitor you can use another cable to power your external monitor and if you want to power something else you will have here another port. In the same time, this adapter plate is special because if you don't turn this on, it's not working. So if you let the battery attach to this plate, the battery will not drain. Of course, you have here this indicator about how much power do you have in the battery or it will indicate when it's charged and this power indicator. This looks like a simple thing, but it is a beast, trust me. With $139, you can buy four batteries like this one. And you will go on the field in the morning with four batteries like this one fully charged. This is more than enough power. And the good thing is that when you are using one, you can charge other one in the same time you are using one of these NPF batteries. So if you use external power, you are forced to buy two V-mount batteries and those ones are really expensive, big and heavy. With four this, you have more than enough power for an entire day. The only downside, yes, you don't have a DTAP port on this one, but with a mirrorless setup for a camera monitor and for an audio recorder, mm, I don't think you need a DTAP port. The weight of this entire setup is 364 grams. A V-mount battery can have something like 500, 600 grams. So this setup with a big NPF battery, it's 364 grams. If you use a small NPF battery, this can be 271 grams. A big one like this, it's 8,800 milliamps. And one like this is 4,400 milliamps. You can find many of them and much, much cheaper than a big V-mount battery. First, of course, if you want, you can attach this on the side, on the cage, directly on the cage, because we have a normal screw here on the back. So you can attach this one directly on the side of the cage. Most of the time, of course, I don't like to do that because this will unbalance my rig. So I prefer to have it here on the back of the rig. For this, I will attach this cheese plate to this rail block and attach the both of them on the back of the rig. I will attach this one upside down because I want to have this plate on the table. Let me explain you, this is important. When I have my camera on the table, I like it to stay straight on these points. So this plate will be attached here at the exact level of these ones. So I will put my camera down, fix the plate here, put it at the exact level and now put the screw. Do this with the second screw, tie this up. 
And right now, super easy, I can attach my plate. Now, most of the time, I don't need to let my screen open because I see from here and I use my camera buttons. But if you want, if you want to use your screen, you can just let your screen open like this. And you can have it here on the side of the rig. Use it when you want. And when you are not using it, you can put it like this. When I have this system attached here on the back of the rig, I have my both hands on the rig and sometimes I can hold it like this and have another foothold, you know, hold it like this and I will have my shot steady. It will help me a lot. Sometimes I get tired and I can hold it like this and it's super comfortable, super easy. And if you have another lens, maybe a heavier one, and your rig is unbalanced, you can balance this by moving the rods. And this system will also move with the rods and you can balance this rig like this. And you can perfectly balance your rig using this system. And sometimes I attach this system on the back of the top handle and the rig will also be balanced. It depends of what do you have on the rig when you're using this. But you can mount this almost everywhere. If you use a camera with a small battery like ZV-10 or A6400, this system is perfect because you can charge your camera in the same time you are filming. I did this many times and it's working like a charm. I can even charge my phone using this system. You can basically connect, charge, power everything that can be connected to an USB Type-C port. Oh, also you can find dummy batteries that can be connected directly to the USB Type-C port. NPF batteries are always a good investment. In any video studio, you can use them on this system or you can power directly something like a light, an RGB light. Many lights can be powered directly using NPF batteries. So having many NPF batteries, it's always a good thing. This adapter plate, it's $49.90. The name is 3168 from Smallrig. Oh, this video is not sponsored by Smallrig. And two NPF batteries with a charger are $69.90. The name is 3823. So you can buy four NPF batteries with two chargers and this adapter plate with $189.7. A V-mount battery, the smallest one, it's $179. A big one, it's $379. And you also need a V-mount plate. So in my opinion, this solution with NPF batteries and this adapter plate, it's perfect. And of course, you can find my affiliate links on the description down below. Thank you. I appreciate this. And be aware you can find another plate looking almost the same. It's cheaper, $26.90. The name is 3018. Looking almost the same, but it has only a 12 volts output and a 7.4 volts output. It doesn't have any USB Type-C. So pay attention to this one, it's important. Of course, if you use a big rig, something like, I don't know, an FX6 with a wireless system, with a follow focus, with a big, big monitor, if you use something like that, that something that's required a lot of power, of course, you will prefer to use a big, big V-mount battery that will last an entire day and a battery that can handle that kind of rig. But if you're using something like a mirrorless camera, I don't know. That's not necessary, a super big and heavy battery. I have friends and other videographers telling like, oh, I don't like to stay and change the batteries. If you charge the camera in the same time you are filming, you will change the battery once, twice. And I prefer to spend five seconds to change a battery than to have hours and hours in my hand a super heavy rig. I prefer to have a lighter rig with a system like this, then to hold for three, four, five hours a heavy rig, just because I don't want to change a battery for five seconds. Mm, I don't know, this is my opinion. It's okay if you want to use a super big battery, but in my opinion, it's better to have a lighter setup than hold 
a heavy setup on Thursday. And don't forget about the price. This is also important in my opinion. I don't know. It's your choice. If you find this video useful, don't forget to subscribe, please. I will come back. And if you want to learn more about my entire camera rig, I will put a big, big video here on the screen. Just click and enjoy. See you next time.